So a while back, I, uh, I showed this kit and I asked my viewers if they could identify what chip was used on this chip, uh, on this kit. And uh, a couple of the viewers had certain suggestions and somebody got it spot on. I think maybe two people got it spot on. Um, it seems to be a ICM 7215, which is a stopwatch. So I, I had guessed that maybe it was a stopwatch um, or a clock or something, but it looks like it's a stopwatch. And this is a very old part. It's going to be hard to find, but I was able to find somebody in China that seemed to have a used part. And the photograph that they had, it looked like the part was just all mangled up and looked pretty bad. But it was like idea. It was um, like like ten dollars for from that guy, and like the next. Um, chip that I could see that was like in good shape was $72. So there's like this big gap in between. And I definitely wasn't going to spend 20, uh, $72 on, on, on this thing. But for, uh, for 10 bucks, I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Um, but anyway, uh, let's take a look at the, at the, um, uh, at the uh, chip here. It, 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 is every, it is a stopwatch on a chip. It has everything you need. It has a oscillator, uh, dividers and stuff, counters. It also has uh, LED uh, multiplexing and drive. So here is the sample schematic and you need no components. You need a crystal, a display, and some switches and that's it. No resistors, no nothing. Um, so yeah, so it should be, should be ready to go. Now, like I said, when I when I looked at the uh, the eBay listing, the part looked pretty beat up. Now, this is the part that I received in the mail, and it is pristine. Um, it's definitely not a pull from an item. the The legs are still bent in the new configuration, and everything is super shiny on it. So, it looks it looks like brand new old stock. So, I'm really really pleased with that. Uh, so we can uh, we can bend these a little bit. So we can get it into the board. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's build this thing and see if it does anything. Now I'm going to have to cheat a little bit. I don't have the original switches I think that were intended for this thing, so we'll have to we'll have to cobble something together. But uh, let's pull the parts out again. Um, and I'm going to be very brave. I'm not going to even socket this thing. And I think I'll use their solder. Why not, right? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and use the old original solder. Uh, maybe that's a bad idea. Uh, maybe the flux is no good at anymore. Yeah, I'll use new solder. I just don't trust the flux in that thing. Um, anyway, so we'll put in, we'll put in the displays. We'll put in the chip, and uh, we will see what goes on. Yeah, the chip goes in. Chip goes in here, and uh, there we go. And the LEDs go in up here, and yeah, let's get this thing going.
All right, uh, let's let's uh, see where the uh, power goes in here, so we can put uh, five volts on this thing. Uh, let's see. Let me get out my continuity checker. So, uh, pin three is VCC, and oh, there we go. So here's a battery, and here's the plus plus the battery. So we can hook up right to there. That's plus. And then, uh, yeah, so this should be minus down here. Let's see, minus goes to pin, uh, pin 15, 16, pin 16. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 is ground. And that doesn't go anywhere, so it must go to a switch. Ah, here we go. So here's ground here. So we'll go between here and here. And that'll be good. Let's put some little, uh, maybe some little wires in there to make it easier to connect things up. We'll put a little wire here. And I always keep the little bits that I've Cut off our resistors and stuff. All right, so this should be this should be all that we need. So let's get uh, let's get five volts and see if it does anything. And it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Maybe there's uh, some switches needed. Hmm. Well, that's discouraging. I thought it would at least light up and attempt to do something. So switches, what kind of switches do we need? Uh, chip enables pin 15, and that has to be plus five. Let's see if that's true. Uh, let's see, we now know what ground is, so ground and Make sure that we've got a uh, voltage up here. Oh, wait a minute, we have no voltage. Did I just, did I connect the right one? I think I connected the right one. Oh, that's odd. Oh, I saw it flash. So we are five volts and when I hook it up, ah, there we go, ah, it's counting. Awesome. I don't know. I guess I didn't make good contact with my probes. So can you see that? I think so. Uh, okay, so this is why you have this piece of uh, plastic here, because it's really hard to see these displays uh, just all by themselves. And this piece of red plastic, if you put it on the uh, display, it makes it easier to see. So I think you can, you can see it counting. That's really cool. This looks like the seconds here. And these look like hundreds of seconds. Very cool. So it does work. Uh, we'll have to find some switches now and figure out where the where the switches go. Um, but that should be easy to do. So if we can't hook up the, uh, let's see, there's a, there's a start stop switch and there is a display unlock switch. I don't know what that is, so just mode switch, start stop. What about clear? How are you supposed to clear this thing? Oh, reset. Ah, there it is. Reset. So stop, start, stop is that, this, this switch here. Reset is this switch. And then uh, there's a weird switch here. So that's ground. So if we ground pin, reset, ground pin 20, it should do something. So let me see if I can find a piece of wire here. Okay, here's ground. 
pin 20. Uh, that would be 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. I did. It, 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 it made it go zero. It says zero, zero. And then start stop is pin 21. So uh, 4, 3, 2, put pin 1. And it doesn't start. Hmm. Start stop. Am I doing this right? Start stop is 20. Oh, start stop is 20. Reset is. No, start. Oh, start stop is 22. 22. Ah, there we go. Awesome. All right. So let's uh, figure out where the switches have to be loaded and uh, put those on. So 19, what was this, 1976, if I remember right? What was the date on this thing? Yeah, 1976. Awesome. So. All right, so I've soldered on switches and uh, let's put the, uh, put the little filter on top. So this is a uh, start stop. So it's counting. And then if I hit it again, it stops. If I hit it again, it clears. So it's start, stop, clear. Um, and while you're going, you can hit the, uh, this button, it does nothing. This button here clears it. So this is the reset button and this is the start stop button. This button here goes to a pin that's called display unlock. And I don't know what that means. It's supposed to have split timing. So I don't, I, I, uh, I don't know how that works. I don't know if you have to press that and, oh, maybe that did something. Let's see. See, we're going here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, see, if I, I think it's a split timing. So if we, if we go one, two, three, four, and then I pause it at six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I hold this button down and I press the start stop button again, it takes off from where you left off, I think, but you have to continually hold this because if you let up on it, you're just, so this might be a toggle switch originally or something, but anyway, it is what it is and this is it and uh, I'm not going to solder batteries onto it. They're, these were meant to have little uh, AAA uh, batteries that had tabs on them that you soldered on. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then there's an on off switch that you could solder on um, to make it uh, turn on and off. Um, but yeah, there we go. So resurrected from 1976, we have a, a functioning digital stopwatch. So 1976 digital stopwatch, this was probably really, really high tech and uh, people were probably just totally amazed at it. Um, yeah, made by, uh, oh, I've got it covered up now. So what was something like executive something or other? I forget. Anyway, you can go back and look at the video. <laughs> executive systems or something like that. Um, anyway, uh, uses the uh, Intersil, uh ICM 7215. Intersil made a whole bunch of chips along those lines. You can, you can find old catalogs online and take a look at all the cool chips that they used to build, uh, but no longer. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I had fun uh, resurrecting an old, uh, an old thing. And obviously this went in a box. Um, maybe that was something extra that you had to pay for, uh, put it in some type of project box. Oh, there we go, minutes. It just popped up to one minute. So it's a uh, minute, seconds, um, and hundreds of seconds. So yeah, cool.